hello everybody i hope we enjoyed that keynote presentation for the 2024 mc parks expo if you are watching this or listening to this after the fact you definitely are going to want to go and watch the keynote presentation on our youtube channel first this is a recap a q a and all of that uh, with all of the wonderful folks who watched it live with us there was basically 200 people in the live chat for the entirety of the presentation which is pretty sick uh, so thanks for being there thanks for coming and um hey what did we think tell me in the in the chat please uh, in the meeting chat. Sorry, I'm not looking at the stage chat. Uh, as usual, this is the meeting channel with a different name. I, I understand that that isn't clear. Talk in, talk in the meeting chat. What do we think? I see some, I see some generally positive feedback here, uh, which, is, which is awesome to see. What was our favorite little bit? Excited for achievements, Rise of the Resistance. The Epcot Light Show. Those are probably my favorite. That three was cool. Too. Yeah. Uh, Galaxy's Edge, the Model Palooza work. Yeah. Disney Cruise Line, the Magic Kingdom work, the Mummy pins, Lighting on Spaceship Earth again, Toontown, Epcot, and Galaxy's Edge, uh, the new models. They were all my favorite moments. That's fair. Well, that's, that's excellent. Um, yeah. Thank you, for, uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for enjoying. The Expo Hall is open now. Um, it is quite busy on Walt Disney World, um, so you you might want to go and, um, and yeah, I would check it out later. <laughs> maybe check it out later, uh, and then go go ahead somewhere else for now. Um, but yeah, I mean, I you know this is going to be a Q and A mostly, so I really want to make this uh, more about um, you know what what you folks want to want to want to hear about we'll talk a little bit more about it give a little bit more uh insight into the progress that's happening um kind of yeah answer any 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 immediate questions that you had um from watching from watching the the, the keynote traffic says that we get dcl back on mc parks before gta 6 that's, that's, fair, that's fair. <laughs> are you sure rise is opening this fall or is it opening next fall uh we're definitely we're definitely going this year that's the plan well as we announced in may <laughs> We did announce it in May. We were we were pretty we were pretty um, pretty confident that we were going to be able to make uh, we were going to be able to make fall way back in May. <laughs> A lot of people joining and leaving uh, Walt Disney World. Do I have to restart Walt Disney World? Maybe. Yeah, it was it was uh, chugging. Let's see. Hold on. <laughs> Go restart Walt Disney World. Uh, Coco Halloween asked, any clue when pins are coming? Uh, so uh, it was my intention to have pins demoed and launching alongside um, alongside the other things. Uh, unfortunately, had some other expo related things to make sure we got finished up and good to go for you folks. So I'm going to give you folks more of a demo of um, of pins uh, at the September public meeting, and we'll announce the time frame uh, where guests will get their hands on them then. Um, but it's really neat, and I, I think you folks are really gonna like it. Um, how will the pin system work? Uh, so the plan is to Essentially, um, oh, hold on, Walt Disney World's not going to restart. I need to start it manually. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm distracted. Uh, okay, so the plan is for pins to be purchased. Some pins will be available a la carte or as part of special events and things like that. Um, but the majority of pins you're going to get through uh, mystery pin packs. So in real life, Disney sells pins in these like two per pack mystery packs. And we are going to um, we're going to have a similar system here. Uh, and essentially, you'll you'll take your park points. You'll go to a shop. You'll buy a pin pack that will have pins in a particular um, in a particular series. And there'll be you know drop rates for each of them, and you know, you'll get your pins out of there. Uh, and you'll try to finish the finish the collection. Um, are pins going to be wearable in any way? Or are they purely collectibles in your inventory? We definitely 
want pins to be wearable. That's not going to be a day one thing, but we have some concepts and um, and some plans for making that happen. Some blue sky ideas. If you definitely, will. definitely. And some really cool ones, honestly. I think some, some that I really like. Um, I thought it was really funny that I saw uh, Mr. MLG Builder said, happy to see uh, E.T. back, which is funny because Mr. MLG Builder may, may or may not be... Uh, May or may not be involved in the reason why it's close to the closed. source of <laughs> its closure. Uh, so you know, you know, just a. Uh... Oh yeah, it'll it'll be down for a couple weeks and it'll be back up. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm I'm back on questions. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, pens mentioned. Um, will usable wheelchairs, mobility scooters, be a thing? Uh, it's not something that we currently have on the roadmap. Uh, maybe someday, but it's not something that we're that we're currently thinking about. Uh, let's see. Uh, pins I already mentioned. Party games besides racing. Are there any other games in progress? Um, yes. I'm trying to think about what I want to uh, to share. <laughs> what I want to share. I, I have a lot of ideas, and uh, there are quite a few, um, quite a few little concepts that that I'm playing around with right now. I think the the coolest thing about the party game stuff is this is, if I'm correct, still off some of the framework that was made in 2020. And that, like, that's true. Uh, so for those of you guys who don't know, in 2020, pre TikTok uh, boom, uh, we were planning on launching a couple different party game types. Yeah, well, they weren't party games at that point. They were just like mini games. So, like, you yeah, know, yeah. you would you would interact with yeah, a sign, it was like parties. it's yeah, you would interact like a sign, like it's a mini game server, circa ten years ago. Um, and then, like, you know, you would join the game lobby, and then you would you know hop into a game. Um, that we were planning on launching that for our eighth anniversary, eight, eight, yeah, no, eight. seven, seventh. That's twenty twenty. It's seven uh, for our seventh anniversary back in twenty twenty, and then of course, uh, well. You know what happened um and so instead we spent time you know scaling up the server and doing a bunch of stuff like that but uh, we kept the code around and um when it was clear that we had a hit gameplay um element in racing disney i knew i wanted to bring races um to the point where anybody could just like have a race on the server um and then we started thinking about other things we're like okay we have parties now you know maybe we can kind of meld these two concepts together and that's basically what happened um so yeah, uh, you know we're we're reusing a lot of the infrastructure from that, and we're starting with races, and we're gonna kind of parlay that into some some other fun games as well. So I'm very very uh, very excited about that. Ryan beat me by about one second in a test race where he did, so that was fun. That's true. I did. <laughs> I did. Uh, and, and another thing I'm really excited for. I mentioned this in the actual video, but. Um, I'm, we're going to make a Discord channel um, all about, you know, speedrunning. Uh, and the intention is that if people want to be uh, considered really competitive. for... competitive. Yeah, if you want to be a little bit more competitive and you want to have your, have your times considered for a server-wide leaderboard, uh, we're going we're gonna to ask people to upload uh, videos of their runs uh, onto Discord and then we can... The, the the community can see the times get lower and lower and see the see the records uh build that's gonna be really neat i'm, I'm really excited to see that uh are there gonna be separate backpack slash pin book uh yes yeah, so uh sorry I, I i forgot a big part of how it works so the your pin book is going to be in your keepsake book so um alongside the other things in your keepsake book you'll be able to check out your pin collection and in there, there's going to be a section uh, where you can deposit any pins that you've obtained through pin packs, through games, through finding them on the server, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then they will automatically get sorted into the right collection. And then you can browse by collection. Um, if you have duplicates, you can take the duplicates out so you can, um, you know, you can trade them with other players or, or what have you. Um, so I mentioned that there will be trading with NPCs uh, for pins. Yes. Um, so this is probably not going to be a launch day thing also, but, um, 
what I want to do is with all the cast member armor stands that you see everywhere, I would love the for the ability for you to right click them and they would have a randomly generated every few hours like pin inventory. Um, and then you can, you know, there would be certain drop rates for, for pins in there and then you could trade with the, um, with the cast member uh, and, and do stuff like that. So I, I really like that. Uh, if ET is getting close, will DreamWorks Land open after ET opens? Uh, we've started DreamWorks Land, yes. Um, we probably will not wait for DreamWorks Land to open ET if ET uh, is ready first, and I feel like it will be, but you know, yeah. anything could happen. Um, but uh, yeah, we 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 actually wouldn't have to open ET to open DreamWorks. So like, even if we happen to finish everything up for Dreamscapes before ET was ready, which I don't think is going to happen, like we would just open that first. Um, but yeah. Uh, when Disney Fantasy opens, is it going to be already docked and cast away key, or is it going to be at sea? Uh, so, I definitely want to bring back a concept that I wanted to do back in 2018, uh, when we were last doing Cruise Line stuff, which is um, having you be able to kind of go, ha have the ship go on like a simulated cruise, right? So it would start at, you know, I don't know if we're going to build Cape Canaveral Cruise Terminal or anything, but it would start at some nondescript cruise terminal, maybe. And then you get on the boat, and then some cycle will pass, and then all of a sudden you're at sea. And then some cycle will pass, and then all of a sudden you're at Castaway. And we kind of have, like, some kind of, um, have, like, a, a simulated cruise experience where you're going from place to place. Have we started Port Canaveral? That's news to me, if that's true. Yeah, I know, it's outlined. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Uh, if y'all are building Tiana's Bayou Adventure at the Magic Kingdom, does that mean Splash Mountain is closed? A Splash Mountain is open right now. The way that we work on new attractions and replacements of attractions on the server um, is that uh, we keep the old thing open until we absolutely have to paste the new thing in. Uh, that way we can keep that old thing open as long as, as, long as possible. Uh, so Splash Mountain at Magic Kingdom is still open for now, and it will be until we paste in that western half of the park. Will E.T. say our names at the end of the ride? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, we have to. We're, we're concepting uh, different ways to do that. That, uh, that makes sense. Lots of suggestions have, uh, have been made. Lots of suggestions have been made. There are ways we could do it that's really, really, really cool, uh, but might cost us some money. And then there are some ways that could be kind of cool and would cost us no money. And there's some ideas that might be uh, terrible abominations of nature. But would be funny. So <laughs> I think we do that. April Fool's Day. Only hey, you know, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah. Uh, what do you think of the D23 announcements and how you're going to begin those projects? Uh, well, we're way far out from beginning any of those projects because obviously we generally wait until the things are open in real life to start work in earnest because we need to make sure that we have a uh, pretty good, um, you know, information and, and references, yeah, yeah and, and, and resources and all that. Concept art can change. Concept art can certainly and always does change. It would be cool if someone, like, built it to the concept art just for fun. Like, I mean, you yeah. know, if a cast member did it on Dreamscapes, like, just for fun, and, like, did the, uh, the new Frontierland stuff, I think that'd be neat. But, you know. Uh, let's see, is there a general time frame for the refurbed Epcot rides? Oh, we're getting pretty close on the land. Um, so I, if, if I had to hazard a guess, uh, the land pavilion will, uh, will come first. Um, I believe, did we say fall for it in the video? Did we say fall yes. for Journey of yeah. Water? Uh, both. Um, well, there you go. Well, there, that answers the newest question, too. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Figment we don't have an estimated time for, but uh, Journey of Water and, and the Land are definitely uh, definitely getting close to be. To be yeah, there. Figment is a little further behind than either of those, but it's getting there. Yeah. Uh, yes, there there will be Casimir pin boards to to trade with. Uh, maybe not a day one thing, but hundred percent something that I want to do. Um, during the DCL, I'm curious will there be events on the cruise such as Pride Night, 
or the attractions like pirate night duck, uh, like pirate night uh, yes and yes uh, we're definitely going to use the the ship as an event space like you know we we make great use of all of our builds as event spaces as as we can um in fact you know the, the contemporary building castaway well i was gonna say building castaway started oh. as a tfn event hall um that's so, that's fair you know. The little hub island you've been exploring is actually an island just to the north of Castaway in real life. And obviously it doesn't have like the crash ship and TFN logo on it. We made some uh, some modifications, but like it's, an, it's a real island, like the shape of it, real island. I'm loving seeing everybody play around in, um, in the expo hall. There's a couple of really cool experiments there. Oh, the um, blue sky area is so cool. The blue sky area is really neat. There's an area where you can draw on the wall um, multiplayer, which is really cool. And that's Everyone all done. do the moving walkway. That's all done in show script. Uh, and there's also a moving walkway that's also done. Like Our technicians are doing that with no coding support from me, which is just so incredibly cool. Go, uh, go check those out. Also, the Rise of the Resistance area, you go through a little simulated ITS, you go through uh, the hangar. Uh, it, it's really cool. Uh, they, they, they knock you out into a waterfall from the, uh, from the interrogation room. Really cool. Go check that out. Uh, is Cat Hat done yet? Cat Hat's been open for five-ish years. <laughs> oh, Lord, has it been that long? 2019, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lord. Yeah. Or 2020, I forget. Early 2020. It was definitely early yeah, 2020. Yeah. Uh, it was pre-pandemic 2020. That's yeah, how yeah, early exactly, 2020 was. Exactly, exactly. Uh, no Garden Girl character dining or the restaurant spinning when the new land pavilion opens. I think we could use some of King's moving walkway ideas, like a region show that is kind of slowly teleporting you around and combining that with some periodic rebuilds using some of the new rebuild syntax. And I think we could pull off Garden Grill. It won't be great, but You'll it'll be You'll get the something. idea. You'll get yeah. the idea. Oh, why am I talking about rebuild? Just have a TCA. Yeah. Yeah. But can we spend money and have it be great? <laughs> like the, uh, the ET thing. <laughs> the restaurant will say your name. Yeah, the restaurant will say your name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how long does it take to put together the expo hall? I think we've been working on the expo hall for like a month. Yeah, about a month. Um, Contemporary was finished like earlier this summer, and then uh, work on the expo hall started shortly after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, uh, it's all sort of stuff that we've been concepting elsewhere that we just sort of moved over. Yeah, yeah. Like a lot of the blue sky area is stuff that came from a little blue sky testing area on um, on Dreamscapes. Also, I'm not sure if everybody noticed, but uh, the Contemporary Resort is now renting rooms again um, with the new room style. So I see at go. least two people have rented a room. Sweet. All right. But... I'm glad, glad people have figured it out. Uh, would we ever add in land challenges, meaning like having a challenge given by a character in that land to do? That's definitely, like I think, the next evolution of the, of the achievement system. Uh, for now, instead well, of a like character West. giving you a challenge, um, you know, in the achievement list, like you'll just see, like, you know, things to do and you can go and, and do them well but... you you have a few that's like ride every ride in this land or something so yeah 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 and some other surprises too yeah there's like 200 of them uh that's just gonna be tomorrow like you know like to to give you guys an idea 200 achievements is only like riding every ride and visiting every land like that that that's all that like 200 covers like you know there's gonna be a lot more content a lot more creative things Oh, there's some real creative ideas for achievements here. Yeah. Uh, most important question, will the Yeti work in the new refurbished Expedition Everest? At this point, I It'll think... It'll function the same way it does in real life. There you go. Uh, yeah. Generally, we make the rides like to the platonic ideals of how it's supposed to work. Like, for example, Rise, all the effects will be working. With something like the Yeti, it is. Like, it's been twenty years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's no hope for that thing. Yeah. Oh, I meant to have like any cast member who was like here be on stage, um, just so they can you know say things. So let me just, let me just. Uh, I'm I'm finding all the expo speakers and just inviting them to speak. Um, Welcome, accident. Yo. Uh, 
please talk about how you started the Disney fantasy without anyone knowing and how I started <laughs> cast away without anyone knowing and we just sort of shoehorned it in. <laughs> so yes. my, my understanding was um <laughs> Josh, you had gone on a cruise. I was going well, I'd gone on the Wonder to Alaska and I was going on the fantasy at the time, uh, in May. Well, this was the time was February, but I was I was I had an upcoming cruise, yes. And I had been on one. And so you were super hyped about that and you started just building the fantasy. Well, Brennan started building oh, the fantasy. Started I started outlining small... the island. Yeah, so about that. So uh I've been working on a lot of projects. Um it was around February, I believe, when I decided that I yeah. wanted to build a boat because this is kind of after my all the stuff I was working on for the 10th anniversary, and I just felt frustrated. I'm just like, you know what? Fine. I'll build myself a boat. That's usually what I do to, like, de-stress myself. So, I want to build a cruise ship. Uh, which one do I want to work on? Fantasy? Okay, fine. I'll do that one. And so I just kind of whipped that up in, like, a couple days. Uh, at least the exterior of it. And, yeah, yeah simultaneously, Josh was working on Castaway K at the same time. Because I think yeah. the idea for Castaway as TFN, like... We had talked that, about it for a while. Yeah. Yeah, there were a couple of ideas that were being thrown around to TFN, but we had this big old Castaway Can Island just kind of built there, so... We kind we of had it last, last year after TFN last year. Yeah, well, last year was just like, it was cool for the 10th anniversary, but we really just rehashed old TFN stuff. So we're like, how can we go bigger this year yeah and i always like the idea of like it being based around the same place i think it gives nice continuity week to week um i and like you know sort of like a hub for you to be going back to i, I like that feel a lot um yeah so each of the the weeks I'll, i could like put together a graphic or something for it later but like each like the the beach that the karaoke was held on and the beach that um the scavenger hunt was held on are all real beaches that exist on different parts of the island. We just sort of cherry pick them from areas that are not as well known. Um, and then yesterday you were obviously on the, the bike paths and a couple of people, uh, well, at least one person uh, claimed to have figured it out as we were announcing it in the keynote. Um, but uh, obviously no one, no one figured it out to the point where they announced it in chat. Yeah, nobody publicly said it, as far as I'm aware. Um, but yeah, so the idea for a while was like we wanted to do um, Castaway for TFN. And then we started thinking about, wait a second, Expo coming up. What if we did TF Castaway for TFN, but we didn't tell anyone and we kept it a secret? Yeah, well, the original plan was to like just say, hey, we're doing Castaway and all, all five weeks or whatever would be on the island. And then we came up with the idea of, what if we just sort of snuck it in? Because we're already doing this thing with Galaxy's Edge and hiding the message. Um, so we, we snuck it in. NASA and I have been wearing um, DC Cruise Line skins since February. Uh, I'm Captain Mickey and he's Captain Minnie, just with our own uh, heads on it. Uh, so that was a neat little hint that no one picked up on. Rose wants to know what our favorite things and what we're looking forward to the most so for everyone who's in the channel right now i think i'm going to go down the line and just quick rapid fire what are you looking forward to the most uh so let's go brennan um probably dcl broken rise of the resistance frankie oh the sse light shows <laughs> rachel sse light show zach uh sse light show i'm gonna say uh Achievements, Sassy. Oh wait, Sassy's. Wait, Sassy. What? Were you, Hi. Did you, did you just change your a, name to be above me? Uh, no, I I am at a lobster bake right <laughs> oh, now. Oh, cool. And okay. Invited me, and I'm here now, and I'm so excited for Revenge of the Mummy. That's fair. Fair. Darren. It's tough. Um, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna like re ask the re repivot the question a little bit but i think going into this um you know we were off the the heels 
of 40 new rides last year. And it's, it's been a slower start this year because of that, right? Like we, we were running on fumes getting to the end of December and getting everything open. And so we've been playing six months of catch up. Um, yeah. We haven't opened anything like ride since wise, test, since track. test track yeah. in January. Yeah. Um, and so I think going into this, it was really exciting to see, you know, even though we haven't been talking about everything like so like super, super much, um, it's really exciting that we have been still pushing forward on things and the things that we are pushing forward on are really freaking cool. <laughs> um, and so looking forward, what I'm most excited for is getting back into that normal cadence of like being able to show people things more and open things like as we were you know we were talking about how you know we anno announced galaxy's edge opening in may you know that that was around the time we started like holding everything that we were working on and we were uh, we were playing with we started holding that really close to chest um and so like the past couple months it's been a lot of radio silence and, and things that are happening uh so i'm excited that we no longer have to do that at least for another year and a half that's fair that's the one that's that's what Darren's most excited for, guys. Yeah, that's like no, 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 like no, yeah, you, no, know. you know, no, I, I hear you. And Josh. I love ah, all my Darren projects equally. <laughs> Darren repivoted the whole question immediately know, before but, me. Okay. The, um, the, the original intent of the question, Josh. <laughs> what things are you looking forward to the most? Uh I mean, obviously DCL is sort of my baby at this point, but like outside of that, the drone show and racing Disney are like the projects that I haven't worked on that I'm really excited about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love the opportunity of, you know, creating... This is a boring technical thing, but, like, I... It excites me so much to create extensible systems that can be easily pivoted to a bunch of different projects and can see a bunch of use and enable a bunch of really cool things to happen. And a lot of what I've spent the last eight months doing myself for the server, you know, achievements, show script three, party games. I think all of them are, you know, like platforms on which we can build a bunch of really neat stuff. So I'm excited for it. Also, Journey of Water is really cool. Oh, yeah, I know. I... <laughs> yeah. There's so much. It's... Rise, I could have said Rise, like, there's so much. I was yeah. hoping Owen would be here to talk about Rise that. and DCL feel like low hanging fruit to be like, I'm really excited for that. But I think Journey of Water is a really, you know, like it's it's almost like a golden example of the show script three stuff. Um, when we were first working on it, um, we were starting, Owen was starting with the strings and he walked up to it and it just played like a random Minecraft note. And Ryan and I were like looking at it and we're like, yeah, like, you know, Yes, that's the that's the correct thing that happens, but is there a better way to do that? And Owen, without hesitation, was like, "Yeah, give me like a week, and I'll get back to you." Um, and then the next time he showed it to us, every line of water, like in the same, you know, like we're talking about like, you know, two or three pixels. Uh, every two or three pixels you go over plays a different note. And that solidified just how powerful Show Script 3 was and how I think more than ever in our history, we've created the, this massive sandbox for our cast members to play with. Yeah. You know what that means? It means we can give people achievements for playing different songs in the, in the, note, in the, in the water. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Sorry, we've been doing those really hard. But this yeah. is going to be a real life uh, anecdote, but um, at Efteling, there is a uh, Max and Moritz coaster. And um, there is a piano made out of like whoopee cushions in the queue. And for fun, when I was there last, my wife started playing uh, the beginning of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on the whoopee cushion piano. She just went burr, 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 burr. And then the piano automatically went burr, 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 and then like made a little sound effect. Oh, that's so cool. That's that's one of my favorite theme park effects anywhere in the world. And now I'm I, like, it just got my mind going, how many other songs are programmed in there? I wish I could sit next to this thing all day and just try different songs. Afterlink. Love that park. Big fan of Afterlink. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, Personally, I'm also super excited for living with the land. Yeah, living with the land. Awesome planet. And awesome planet is so cool. How long have we had Awesome Planet finished for? <laughs> like a year. <laughs> it's it's been since Cam plays games. Was here. Is Cam here? Is Cam in the in the chat? I don't see him. I don't see him. Either. See him. If only Discord ordered people in any reasonable way so you could find them in the line of people. It, well, they do. The it's based on joined. Joined. when you joined. Why do yeah. I care how when they joined? Why is that something I'd care about? I almost just invited someone randomly to join. Uh, but yeah, so, you know. I think Moore has his hand raised. Uh, no, I had invited him to speak. Oh. Um, I imagine it's very late. That's we why raised he's... his hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. We raised his limp, tired hand after working on all this stuff for Rice. Oh, wait, that is a raised hand. Wait, did he decline it and now I have to give him another one? I don't know. Or is that me giving him... Guys, Discord's not good. Discord, bad game. <laughs> oh, there's more. I'm sorry, Mord. Did, did you... Oh, I, no. I hit the invite button like four times. Okay. I, you know, I, I just thought that was, a, that was like an indicator that I had invited you. Because I thought I did. Uh, but, you know. Uh, let's see. Will the Expo Hall be open tomorrow on Sunday? Yes, it will. Uh, will there be oh, any... we can. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, will there be any shows uh, for Disney Cruise Line? That'd Not be for like TFN, but yeah, when it's fully operation. That'd be neat. Oh yeah, so there's one more week of TFN, and we're having a beach party, as you all know. But of course, the party is going to be on the main beach where you could see. Yeah, the, the ship. whole island is going to be open for you to just like run around and and yeah. play. Good luck playing hide and seek. <laughs> oh yeah, I know you'll get lost. You've seen like eighty percent of the island through the bike trails that you ran on, but yeah, it makes sense that people started catching on with the bike trails. Doing doing that, one person did it. That's what yeah. I know. Uh huh. Uh yeah, I think is Castaway gonna immediately stay open after TFN, or are we gonna close it back up for a little while to do some more work on it? I think we should just keep it open, right? Yeah, no, because like yeah. essentially stuff will just keep getting added to it until we are satisfied. There you go. And then uh, obviously but, it'll be rolled into like the whole cruise experience when that comes. But until that point, there's no point in spending all this time working on it and just like closing it after a night. Yeah. Uh, Mike Bites asked uh, what they missed about living with the land. Uh, so, I mean, other than like it's really coming along, it looks really cool. There's um, lots more kinetic energy in there like you expect from the real ride than the static, you know nothingness of the current one one of my favorite things is the nameplates for all the plants are there yes so it's the the correct plants in the correct spot with the correct nameplates do we have all like 100 percent of them is that is that the is that what's in the plan are we i thought yeah I, okay last i heard we might have been uh, there may be back. like some performance scaling for like the ones in the back but like near to boat um yeah, we touched on show script three a bunch, uh, but I'm it's also really exciting and energizing uh, to be open sourcing some stuff that we do here. Um, there's lots of motivations for that, but uh, I hope that it leads to more people wanting to join stuff like the technician team. Um, and then for achievements, you know, like I said, I want to create new content for achievements like all the time. Uh, so I'm I'm really looking forward to uh, people kind of learning how that works too. I'm going to be showing them both off a little bit tomorrow at 1 p.m. I have a I have a panel. Uh, so come on down if you want to learn more about how ShowScript works. I'm even going to show you how to get started using ShowScript yourself, even if you have no experience with um, with running a Minecraft server. Uh, just come with a with a GitHub account. That's all you need. Let's see, Soren Around the World update. We don't have any updates to share about Soren Around the World. There, there isn't any, uh, there isn't any work happening on there. Uh, though I will say that a lot of stuff that's work that we're working on for Rise might have implementations for other rides in the future. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. There's yeah. So Rise much is stuff like, Rise is like, you know, this year's happily ever after. In that, in order to make it happen, we have 
you know, thought really hard about a lot of different things. We've invented some new technology to make it work. And we've, you know, got so many ideas as to how to implement that um, everywhere else. When we did Happily Ever After, uh, we made spotlights, we made lasers, we made particles that follow pre-described paths. We made uh, lots of advancements in like the technique of how we do armor stands and armor stand animations that are made out of multiple armor stands. We made blockimations, the little um, moving uh, moving blocks that, that that go around. Like that was all done for Happily Ever After. And then we found lots of implementations everywhere else. The techniques that Moore is pioneering that are making a lot of the cast member interactive dialogue work on Rise, um, a lot of like the muscles that we're starting to flex on audio production in general that we're doing on Rise, um, you know, it, it, it's going to have implementations and um, and applications outside of of Batu. Uh, more, I don't know if you want to add anything. I know it's very late for you, so I totally understand if you don't want to. If you don't want to talk too much. I mean, not really. Just come to the Galaxy's Edge panel tomorrow. That's true. That's true. There is going to be a, a Galaxy's Edge panel for tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. We will. We'll, we'll, we will dish all. I mean, even leak things. JK, I won't. No. I. You. You. You have full They've already permission. Leaked things. You have full permission to leak things. I think we should. I think at the panel we should definitely show um, a recording of what the uh, pre shows. Like so, what some of the videos look like in game, a little bit, not the whole thing, maybe a little bit. In drips and drabs, as they'd say. Uh, uh, all, yeah. Uh, uh, all, all I'm going to say is that y'all aren't ready for Ray. Ah, uh, are we though? Is there going to be a virtual queue for Galaxy's Edge and Rise of the Resistance? Uh, yes, yeah, for, no. for 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 big openings like that, uh, generally what we've been doing, um, we haven't had to in a while, but I think for Galaxy's Edge, we'll definitely will. Um, but we set a queue on the entire server. So Disneyland will just be like queued off. Um, and we'll have some amount of people that we will let in there at a time. And as people, you know, finish, they'll either get a time limit or, you know, we'll be catching them at the end of the ride or something. Um, and then, uh, you know, kind of cycling through people as best we can. So. Well, this is only like opening day. It's not going to stay for yeah, exactly. years like it did in real life. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no VQs here, just for the first day. <laughs> exactly. Uh, any updates about the show from Hollywood Studios? There's quite a few shows in Hollywood Studios, but I don't know which one you're referring to. That's kind to. of the central theme of the park in it some is, ways. It is, it is. They might be talking about Fantasmic. Oh, maybe. That's kind of... We're not yeah, working I... on Hollywood Studios Fantasmic. Or, <laughs> honestly, I don't think we're working on any shows in Hollywood Studios right now. Shows I don't know if we're working on anything at Hollywood Studios. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with, uh, who knows what's going to be uh, on the chopping block soon. Yeah. Please. How will early access work for Galaxy's Edge Rise of the Resistance? Well, early access is open now for for Galaxy's Edge as part of Disneyland Early Access. It has been for, for years uh, at this point. Um, as far as the attraction is concerned, um, there will probably be, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk more about that when we get closer to opening it, but there will probably be a day or two period uh, where just um, donors can can ride it. Um, that's, that's generally what we do. We 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 unfortunately don't do early access for the attractions themselves, like while they're being built, just because. Uh, oh, you could break so much. You could break so much. A lot of the effects aren't like left in a way where people could just go and ride it, um, and so that would create a lot of extra work for our technicians to. Yeah, um, like it's not it's not optimized either. Yeah. It's it's a it's a mess. Yeah. Uh, yes, you will be able to build a lightsaber at Galaxy's Edge. Uh, we're working on some of the uh, the lightsaber parts. We're getting there. Um, we started working on a bunch of them, and then we decided that we were changing the style of the resource pack, so whoops. Uh, <laughs> but to be fair, the new resource pack style, I think, makes it easier to like mass make a bunch of those um, a bunch of those parts. Will they glow um, if you have Optifine? But right now, you can only do the emissive textures uh, if you have Optifine. Actually, that's a big, big Minecraft news. This week's snapshot brought emissive block textures, which is pretty, pretty, pretty sick. 
Um, but this isn't a Minecraft snapshot uh, discussion panel. Any other questions folks have? Several people are typing. Right as I was getting ready to say, maybe we close this thing off. Any of the other cast members on stage have uh, things they want to they wanna mention? There's going to be so much we're going to be discussing this weekend. And yes, please apply if you want to help us out in some of these projects. Yeah, yeah. This team's so cool. Everyone's so, so talented. If you want to join a bunch of really cool theme park fans uh, who are just super passionate about what they do, uh, just, you know, are really into putting out some quality products, experimenting with stuff, and, uh, and just having a good time talking about theme parks, join us, mcparks.us slash apply. Will Garden Grill have the country Where music else? and living with the land sounds like you hear in real life? We will do our best to replicate the soundscape as best we can, as we as we always do. The audio production team is getting more and more talented at that, so... It's true. Is Beacons of Light still in development? Did you watch the same expo as I watched? Yeah, I'm pretty Did sure we had a whole video keynote? on that. I, like, yeah, I was going to say, sure how many showed... guys actually watched the expo? I, mean, I, thought, I, th I thought there was a really cool video there. Um, go, uh, go check that out. Uh, will you get park think... points? Go ahead. Frank, should we say? I'm gonna message Frank real quick. Uh oh. Oh god. There's some. What you're messaging me? Yeah. <laughs> There's some backroom deals happening. <laughs> if if you here. if you want to say that, you can. I don't know what this is. This is completely off the rails. Don't know what it's gonna be. You have the power, Frank. Frank, whatever. Your show. Right. Okay. <laughs> is that what you thought I was going to ask you? This is an audio-only format. The key is continuing to talk. Somehow, we've managed to intrigue all of the people up here on the stage <laughs> as no well as like, in the audience. I, I no. think you have to say it, because I just want to know what it is. Or, Frank, if you want to talk about I'm actually confused. What do you mean? Oh, I'll go. See, like, it's okay. Darren, it seems like you're the only one who can say this, because no mind, one else knows mind. what we're talking about. Okay. Okay. That was great. This is this is great. We're really good at uh, narrative flow here. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry, everybody. I'll just say we are. Are... Frank, I'll let you say whatever, and you know we'll we'll go along with it. Yeah, I don't know. Frank, why don't you tell us what your favorite kind of cheese is? Parmigiano Reggiano is my there favorite. There you go. Correct answer. That gymnast yeah. who was sponsored by Parmigiano Reggiano. So cool. I wish I was sponsored by Parmigiano Reggiano. Yeah, Frank, if you want to talk about that, you can. I think you have a picture of that too. Of Parmigiano Reggiano? No, no. <laughs> Frank's Minecraft character straddling a wheel of cheese? Photos? Yes, I will talk about that real quick. Let me get the photo. Oh, hype. Hey. So Frank's been, Frank's been working on a little side project for me, and it wasn't at a... Uh, oh! <laughs> Wait, I haven't <laughs> seen this! <laughs> that <one. laughs> and, and it wasn't at a point where we wanted to show it off in the keynote, and if you listen to the end of the keynote, there may have been, may have been a little hint. Darren told me about this offhand in person once, <laughs> and then never mentioned it again. <laughs> and then I think I said it at a cast member meeting by accident, and I was and Darren's like, "Oh," and I was like, "Oh, was I not supposed to say yeah, that?" Yeah, that was that was the big Ryan's well, birthday secret. No, I all right, all right. <laughs> I yeah, I only one... figured it out because he asked me for the schematic of this. <laughs> yeah. So... Does anyone know what that is I from have the no screenshot? Idea what it is. I do. Broken. That's Disney's um, dreams that saw. Yeah. So Ooh. the drone show. The the goal was to have okay. some of this look presentable to show off, um, but at the same time those conversations were happening, um, the idea re-entered everyone's brain. I forget who came up with it, but somebody had mentioned the spaceship Earth lights at like the same time. And the the general uh, feeling in the room was like, oh, no, that's easier and cooler. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, 
so yeah, this is being uh, I don't know, nowhere but, near but, like lightly worked on, all. but but fun to show up. Yeah, fun this is up. this is Josh tomorrow at the end of the last uh, D twenty before this one being like, this is stuff that we might do at some point. <laughs> so that's why it was cut, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So everyone was joking in the the VC about like, oh, is there a third one more thing? Um, originally, yes, <laughs> <laughs> but but we cut it for um, just not feeling that it was far enough along. Everything else that we showed off, I mean, you know, you guys heard most of this time. Dirt is we, moving, we said, shovels in the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We said like most of that stuff is opening like this fall and this winter, and you know, in the the for the sake of like achievements and stuff. Like, a little bit further out um just felt a little out of place with how like right here right now everything else was makes a lot of sense so anyway frankie have you ever been to mcdonald's in italy and gotten the little snacking parmesans for like a euro <laughs> no i've actually never been to italy oh okay yeah yeah, yeah. so it went when uh they, on their little like to go snack menu they just have they just have little little cubes of parmesan no way yeah it's awesome why do we not have a panel this weekend that is just uh, Frankie talks about cheese? I don't know. I told people they could submit for whatever panels they wanted, you know. <laughs> Nobody did. They're all my ideas. Actually, one person did, and it's Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I just figured other people would have things they wanted to talk about. I don't know. I we think, can give I more. I think I covered the... it in most of the. Yeah, that's true. We can give more of the Galaxy's Edge panel. Like, you know, Vec and Sassy were going to want to do a, a universal panel. Like, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, people people got what they wanted. I was proactive. Yeah, it's true. Oh, what I have needed to do is karaoke panel. Karaoke panel? We did karaoke like last week. Um, oh, originally, two I two forgot. Weeks ago. Uh, originally, I forgot that Ryan wanted to have his big panel, and um, I had an Epcot panel scheduled, but that was uh, that was bumped for time. I was thinking about proposing a panel for like how to build things, particularly trees. But I don't know how the Imagineer panel. That. Yeah, yeah that's just yeah. that's just the Imagineer panel, I think. <laughs> we've we've somehow kept forty five people um, entertained over the past forty five minutes. Hey, everyone in here just got a secret announcement. It's true. That's fair. What else are we going to secretly announce? Is this being recorded? Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> now I have to edit that a... photo into the... the well, the I mean, you could, or people could just go find it, you know? Here, We're hold just on. Gonna do I'm going like, to reply. Style. Here's what I'm doing. I'm replying to the thing. Uh... Thanks, Cam. We appreciate that. Uh, let's see. All right, so I've so so for anybody watching this in the future and they want to see the Disney Dreams that score that 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 soar picture, go into the meeting channel on the MC Perks Discord and uh, search for Parmigiano Reggiano is the best um, from uh, from me, and then you will be able to click to see the, the picture. I should have picked words that people might be able to spell that look. I was going to say, it's fine. You know what? <laughs> Extra challenge. They have to work for their picture. I, I thought it was going to be weird to, to spell that, but then I realized how good my own spelling is. I went, maybe it's a me problem. Maybe it was born with it. I would not have been able to spell that. Well, I don't know. Google. Google exists. I wish we were good. Um, there's a comment about recording this uh, chat. I wish we recorded the watch party room because uh, everybody's reaction when we were like, hey, what about Galaxy's Edge was really fun. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> that was great. I loved that. You know, we. I think, oh, no, did we record it last time or did we say we were, go yeah, we were we going did. to next time? We did oh, record yeah. it last time. But that's okay. We all we all lived it in the moment.
there's a message about uh, scrolling through chat. Saw a message that was really had a really easy code. Um, keep looking. I won't. I won't say if there are or aren't any more <laughs> any more hidden codes. Uh, Didn't we tease at some point that we had hidden a message somewhere? I think we said it in one of the meetings. We were like, yeah. "Oh yeah, there's there's a you know cryptic cryptic message hidden in in some hidden thing. somewhere." That's all we said, I think. Yeah, we didn't even say that it was uh, like what it was about or anything. Yeah, so that we had was... to go back and see the whole thing on May the fourth. That was an idea I had when I first started drafting out the script before we decided to pivot to making it like a cast member roundup, which is the the style we went with. Um, when it was, I had an idea that it was just all going to be like this, like massive produced content, and eventually um, scaled back significantly just because you know the videos are cool, but it's it's more cool to have people working on the things and getting things to you guys. Um, but that was like. The original vision was there was going to be one of those, uh, like an IRL shot of an MC Parks guest uh, or somebody playing an MC Parks guest on like a cork board with like the red string connecting things together and then eventually making the connection to all the tweets um, being like, oh my gosh, it's it says the announcement on it. But we pivoted. <laughs> and can I say, I really like and actually, I'm curious to hear all of your thoughts, uh, but I really like the format for this keynote. Um, the produced videos are cool, and when you have time to do them, it's great. But there is something really neat about having the focus be on all of these really wonderful people and all the work that they do, letting them come up and talk in their own words. Yes, um, Jay, exactly like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm interested in what people thought. Uh, if you prefer the more kind of um high production value produced videos or if you prefer more the more intimate have the cast members come on stage and talk about what they're working on kind of thing i think a lot of our marketing strategy like in videos and like the the stuff we produce is very focused on this is a high quality thing right and this is a very high quality experience and i think it's really cool that for this keynote we took the opportunity to like make it feel human right like the the people behind this project are human beings here because they love what they do and they make really cool stuff yeah yeah yes, i think Dan, historically i'm a human being <laughs> i think historically a lot of minecraft disney server media that's been created has been made with the goal of emulating the kind of stuff that disney puts out yes but as time has gone on i've realized did I freaking hate Disney's like <laughs> commercial media strategy? Like, I yeah. think it's dumb. Like, I think the fact that they just like make videos and when the ad campaign's over, they just delete it all and you can never see it again. Like, what? Buy That's stupid. Song. That's dumb. That still exists, just not by Disney. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's crazy. And like... and but and you know what is cool? And as I get older, I appreciate way more is stuff like Imagineering Story. Is stuff like you know having more convert. Imagineering Story is obviously very produced and everything, but like you know. Like, you know, put uh, Larry Smolt up on stage talking about, you know, his cool moving walkway. Like, that's cooler. And I think, you know, also, like, what's my goal with making videos for MC Parks? Is it to get people to play on MC Parks? No, not really. It's to ignite interest in the really cool work that this volunteer project is doing. And everyone on this team who's just a volunteer and just, and just works here because they think it's neat and they're really passionate about theme parks, you know, like... I, I want to ignite that spark in people. I want people to ignite the spark in, you know what? I can learn how to do that. And I can make stuff like that too. And then they go and, you know, they join our team. They start working their way up, learning a lot of new skills. And then all of a sudden they have a degree in computer science and they're, you know, working for a big tech company or whatever. And they're like, oh, how did that happen? I don't know who that relates to. Well, you know, Definitely I, no one in here. Right. Um, but, 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 but it's, it's true. And I, I really do think that this server has the possibility to, you know, help you, you know, as a, as a, as a young person figuring out what you want to do with your life, learn some stuff and, 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 you know, get some transferable skills. That's, that's what I think 
this is all about. That's why I still work here, you know, 11 years on. I learned GitHub because of this server, and uh, now I use it in, like, real work, which is there fun. You know. I work at GitHub, so... Yeah, you know, yeah, well, what, now every time that I have uh, an issue at work, I'm just going to message you be like, hey, how do you do this? Yeah, absolutely do it, you know. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I might be in charge of, uh, of GitHub's... Uh, 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 learning pathways in a few months, so I might be explicitly making content for you. To be fair, um, my department was actively like reaching out, looking for like actual training from from you. So well, not there you, you specifically, yeah. but yeah, we we know there's whatever. This is not a Ryan talks about work uh, meeting. Uh, but yeah, I see I see a lot of people uh, in chat. Some people saying that they like this uh, this way of doing it, and it looks like people have started talking about Parmigiano Reggiano again. Uh, which is fine. I'm here for it. It is the best cheese. Uh, however, Frankie, close second for me personally. I want to know your thoughts. Uh, Pecorino Romano. I like Red Leicester as my second. Interesting. Okay. I don't know if you've ever had that before. No, I don't think I've ever even heard of it. What is no, it? I think it's more British. It sounds Not British. Wednesdaydale. Yeah. Red what? Red Leicester. Red Leicester? Is this felt like stupid Leicester? The town name Leicester. It is spelled like the stupid Leicester. Yes, Leicester the town is what I would call the stupid Leicester. It's an eight. Oh, it's like a, a crumbly cheddar. So this is like, what if you took cheddar but gave it... Whoa, wait. Hmm. I'm interested in this. You should order Frank something. talks about cheese panel, sort of... Uh... Okay. Well, look, I already know that because you love uh, Parmesan so much that we probably have similar tastes in cheese. We like that kind of hard cheese, you know, oh, yeah. the, the real nuttiness to it. So I, have, I, you know, like I love, you know, as sharp of cheddar as you can get also. So I feel like I feel like this is up my alley. Stinky cheese. No, I don't. I don't really do like no, stinky cheese. Yeah, okay. see, look, yeah, 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 okay, no. Frankie, we are, we are one the same here. <laughs> but I am a, I am, I'm a, I like the hard cheddars. Provolone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I grew up in an Italian family, and so provolone and the any pasta is something that, you know, I uh, I, I had a lot. Um, I love provolone on a cheesesteak also. Got to, you know, that's my go-to on a cheesesteak. No, this cheese whiz crap. No, no, no. Don't do that. I think we're on opposite coast then, because I'm the guy who takes a can of cheese, of like cheese spray or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Giraffe That's mask. not real cheese. No, it's not. Yeah. It's not, but I love it. <laughs> Sometimes it contains real milk parts. <laughs> Most of the it time is. it does not. Yeah, it's basically it's flavored to the essence of cheese. It's not Ugh, exactly gross. cheese, but I like gross. it. I think, I think uh, we've lost uh, We have, we have. Trap Next wants to know if uh, the ship horror music will play on the ship. Uh, I think Josh did that like immediately. Yeah, and uh, I said it in the did. chat. Okay, okay, it's okay. like yeah, the yeah, first yeah. thing I did, and like the further away from the ship you get, the more quiet and echoey the horn sounds. And it also has, if you're right up, like next to the, like on the dock next to the ship, you'll hear like the "We're about to play the horn" announcement. So that's fun. I bet was that one of the first examples of like show script three being used in game. It might have been, uh, yeah. Yet I think you had made was, something that there was a you could click in chat to choose which horn you wanted to hear. Yeah, well, I, I had Ryan help me with a, a show so that you couldn't play two horns over top of each other because right. freaking Brian <laughs> kept doing that. <laughs> Brian. Look, uh, yeah. if anything, it just proves that he's a really good tester for that kind of thing. It's true. You know, when, when I want to know what's the silliest thing a guest will do, I ask Brian. Hey, Brian, could you come look at this? Like the saying goes, when uh, when uh, you try to make something idiot-proof, nature will just provide you with a better idiot. Not saying that he is, but he's really good at breaking things. Look, I wasn't <laughs> going to say it. Uh, Fluffy Bunny wants to know what the different Casimber roles do. Uh, you want to apply a help out, but you don't see anything on the roles page that you're great at. Uh, number one, I think we definitely need to overhaul um, that page. Uh, number two, we are going to have a panel. Um, if you look in announcements, scroll up a little bit. There's going to be an application panel on 4 p.m. on Sunday. There's also throughout the week going to be panels for each of the individual teams. Um, I'll tell you this. If you're in the third year of a CS degree, technician might be something for you. You might also just want to join to... Um, 
be on the development team with me. Um, that's also an option. And if you wanted to do that, Parks Experience has a uh, checkbox to say that you are proficient um, in computer programming and you can give some uh, kind of reference material there. Uh, yeah, but uh, if you are interested in working here, you don't know what you wanna do, you definitely wanna show up for some of the panels tomorrow. If you're more technically minded, uh, the show script three panel at one tomorrow, the parks experience panel at six, uh, we'll maybe touch on some development stuff and the technician panel at eight on Sunday um, are all going to, thank you, Darren, for making them even numbers and odd numbers on different days. That's so smart. Yeah, thank you for noticing. That's really smart. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, have you ever been in an event and like you're ready for, you're so pumped for whatever session that you're trying to go to, but it's actually like a different day and you screwed up? Yeah, the only yeah. one that's different is Universal because it had to fit with uh, Vec and Sassy schedule. Right. But yeah, besides yeah. that, yes. But it's still an even number. So it's still even numbers. Actually, no, never mind. I don't know if it's not an even yeah, number. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I thought it was. But besides um, that, yes. Yeah, but it's unique, so it's fine. Uh, but yeah, sorry. And then also the application panel is going to, like, you know, if you're the kind of person who maybe you've applied for guest relations many, many times um, and you want to know how to um, improve it, uh, how to improve your application, uh, the application panel at 4 p.m. on Sunday might be something that you're interested in. So a lot of a lot of cool panels um, and a lot of uh, a lot of neat stuff. I love decoding messages. Well, Quaxley, I I better whatever secret message Darren's talking about. I don't think I even know what it is. Um, I want to I want to see your answer on my desk before the September public meeting. You better find it. All right, folks. We want to end it off there. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, thank you everybody for coming to the keynote presentation. Thank you for coming to the after party. Hope to see you at all the panels this weekend. And just really excited for all the amazing work that our cast members are doing and all of the amazing things that we have in the pipeline. Thanks everybody. Have an amazing expo, and we'll see you really soon. This Q&A is adjourned. Over. Thank you very much for coming down. Good night, everyone. Have a Bye, good guys. one. Good night.